everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are playing episode 4 of our Need for Speed Payback Let's Play series. Now if you've missed the previous three episodes then I will leave a link to a, a playlist in the description uh, where you can go and watch those videos. So if you want to catch up on what we've been doing in the first three episodes you can do. Now, for those of you who are wondering why I'm playing Need for Speed Payback in 2020 and this game came out in 2017, well, it's because about a month ago it was free on the PlayStation Store to download if you had PS Plus. I have PS Plus and it looked like a really cool game that I haven't had a chance to play before, so I downloaded it and I wanted to make some of these Let's Play series for you. And uh, so far you seem to be enjoying those, so I'm carrying on the uh, Let's Play at least for a little while. Um, but as promised in the last episode, today we are going to be checking out some of the map. Last episode we checked out some of the car customization, and I do want to briefly customize our brand new Hemi Cuda right here before we go out into the world. Um, but today we're mainly going to be checking out the map and seeing what that has to offer. So um, yeah, make sure you stick around for that. But first, let's go ahead and customize the Hemi. Um, now, since the last episode, I've unlocked a few more customization options. Um, so we can now customize the grill, which we couldn't do in the last episode. Um, most of it is still locked. Um, but I've got the I've got sort of unlocked the most important part, so we can customize this thing fairly well. And I have also turned down the um, game audio very slightly. Hopefully that's going to come across in the episode because I noticed at the end of last episode when we were driving the um, Hemi here, it was quite loud. It does sound absolutely fantastic. Um, but it was quite loud so I've, I've tweaked that slightly hopefully that's going to come across um but yeah we'll just wait and see but let's first customize this thing we've got a number of bonnet options so we've got the classic hemi cuda bonnet we can go for like a rumbler uh ghost bonnet we've got a sort of stripped version of the classic and then we've got this one with sort of uh i don't know how you call that gills I guess um, I actually quite like that so um, it's not really a hemi cuda thing but it does look quite nice so I'm going to go for that um, the grill options we got the classic grill we've got this is more like the this is a hemi cuda grill um, I don't I don't really know much about hemi cudas honestly they're nice looking cars but I've seen some with this grill and some with this grill. Um, personally, not a fan of that one or that one. And how is that different to the first one? I don't know. So yeah, long story short, I like the one it has already. The front bumper options, we've got this classic front bumper. We've got the need for speed one. We've got another version of the classic there, which is more like if you want to have the ratted look. And then we've got the alchemist one. Um, hmm. I think the alchemist one actually looks quite nice, so I'm going to go with that. I like how it like wraps up the side. That looks pretty cool. Then we've got some splitter options. So we've got just the normal splitter. We can go for this need for speed crazy looking splitter which I do not like we can go for the ghost splitter we've got the classic Plymouth one how is that this that appears to be exactly the same um, we've got the alchemist one and then we've got the ghost one which is supposed to match the the ghost grill um, I like just what we have now I think that looks okay so I'm gonna leave that the front canards um, we can get these like little canards down there. Not a huge fan of that. I think it looks a bit dumb. 
Um, the wheels and stuff, uh, we can change up the wheels and the brakes. I'm going to do that at the end, kind of like we did in the last episode. We're going to fully change all the body panels, everything we want to do first, and then we'll come and change the wheels at the very end. And hopefully the camera doesn't cut out this time. <laughs> I have charged it up, so um, yeah. Uh, the front fenders, we've got the normal fender. We've got this one with some gills in the side. We got this horrible looking alchemist one with this massive fender that looks just disgusting. We've got the ratted look if you're going for that look. We've got the other alchemist one which again has a horrible square looking fender just really doesn't suit a car at this age. And then we've got the need for speed one which I don't know if it's coming across on camera but just behind the wheel there. On the right, there's sort of like a, there's some like little gills, some vents inside. Um, not a huge fan of that, but it does look better than something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave the classic one on. I like that. The side skirt, we can go for this massive looking ridiculous alchemist one. I guess that matches the front bumper or the front splitter but since we've not got a front splitter it doesn't really work the rear fenders are going to be all the same as the ones on the front which i didn't like any of the sound system we can go for the epson fluid fluidic fluidics um but yeah i'm not going to bother with that we can get spoiler options so we do have some spoilers on this we've got a ghost one there we've got another ghost one which is kind of like a bolt on drag spoiler I guess you'd call that we got this massive need for speed one we got AR performance which looks a little bit weird we got need for speed again massive we got the alchemist that's a full on drag spoiler there not a fan of that we've got another need for speed one and then we've got the classic I guess you'd call that the classic CUDA sort of one it's, it's more like uh, what you get on a challenger but the challengers and the cudas were very similar looking cars there's actually not a single body panel from a cuda or a challenger that match so you can't swap body panels on but when you park them side by side they look very very similar but anyway i like this one the first one so i'm going to go with that just a nice little lip spoiler uh, the trunk lid itself, we've got this one or the ratted one. So if you want to go for the full ratted one, you can. The license plate, we've got all the same license plate stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and change this to my GTA license plate. And there we go, Moldy Worm 41975. Um, you can change up the lights, but I've not unlocked that yet. We might try and do that in this episode, because you have to drive 155 miles. I've driven 113, so we'll probably end up unlocking that anyway. Um, then the rear bumper options, we have... Whoops. Oh, how do I go back to the rear bumper? There we go. We've got this one we've got the ghost one we've got the alchemist one we've got another ghost one which is like a bolt on one there and then we've got the sort of ratted look if you want to go for that um not a huge fan of those little overrider things that stick down um so i might go for the alchemist one there because it's basically the classic bumper but it removes those i think it looks just a little bit nicer we can't unfortunately do anything with the diffuser but honestly i wouldn't bother with that anyway and we can't do anything with the exhaust because i haven't unlocked that yet but i'm quite happy with how it is um let's just first go ahead and paint the thing now paint and wrap edit wrap and paint and as of now we've got this like dark purple it looks almost black when you see it outside it is nearly black i quite like the purple i'm not gonna lie so i want to keep the purple but i want to go for something just a little bit brighter just a little bit more 
Um, oh, we can go for purple chrome, purple metallic, clear coat. We can go for matte, satin, or gloss. I think maybe just the clear coat. And I want to go for something not too purpley, but uh, maybe something like that looks very nice. Yeah, I do like that. We'll save that. Okay. Um, we'll save that on there. And that looks absolutely beautiful. Now we can go back in and change the wheels. Um, well, change up the rims. Um, we need to pick something that's going to match the purple paint. So I'm thinking maybe something like goldy. There's some gold wheels. I have seen there's some quite nice gold wheels. Not those. <laughs> they do not suit the car. Those. Those are the ones I've seen. I feel like they kind of match the car. I think they look quite nice. Uh, we can always paint some of the other wheels gold. But um, if we edit the primary colour, that is going to be the gold part. But we can change this up to any colour that we like. So what does it actually look like in purple? Yeah, that looks a bit dumb. Uh, no, we want to go... So I think... I, I'm happy with the gold. Um, what is the primary colour going to change? That's going to change that back part. So I think we want to go full black with that apply to the rear rims and then we'll go and just adjust the size a little bit because it's quite a fat tire on it now I feel like a bigger tire like that does look slightly better and then um, let's just go ahead and match that now on the front and there we go that is the car sort of fully customized as I usually say I think it looks much better we have got a few tuning and stance options, so let's just have a look at those. We've obviously got the normal cambering. We can camber the front and camber the rear. Not a huge fan of that. The height, we can raise the height if we want to, or we can fully slam it down. Honestly, I was quite happy where it's sat now. Um, I think sort of a middle slammed height looks okay. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And then obviously we can go in and do some performance customization, but I haven't got any speed cards to apply yet, so not going to bother with that. But let's take the thing outside now and do what we're going to do and explore a bit of the map. And of course it's turning night time as we come outside, but we do get our look at the, well our first sort of, 360 degree look at the CUDA. I think it looks much nicer. I'm not overly sold on the wheels. I'm not going to lie. I might change those. But for now they'll do. Um, but yeah. Today we're going to be exploring a bit of the map. Um, this is the map. If you've not seen any of the previous episodes. Or any episodes. Um, or any gameplay I should say of Need for Speed Payback. It's a fairly sizable map. Um, this is sort of the main garage area over here. This is where we are at. Let me just go ahead and change this up a little bit. So this is where we are right here. This um, white and green dot over at the airfield. This is the garage right here. There's a number of these gas stations and I've discovered what the gas stations do. Basically um, you drive around the map and discover these gas stations and it allows you to fast travel to them that is one use for them but the other thing is it repairs your vehicle and it also refills your NOS so if you're running low on NOS you can drive into a gas station and it will replenish it for you um, so there's a bunch of map to explore we're probably not going to get to every part of it in today's episode but I just want to have a drive around and see some of the sites that this map has to offer so I'm not really going to set a waypoint I don't really know where we're going I'm not going to lie but yeah we're just going to go for a drive and see what we can see anything exciting I will show on camera any boring bits I will cut out 
Um, but yeah, it is a really, really nice looking map, I have to say. The gameplay that I have shown so far and, and that I've been uh, playing off camera, it is a very, very nice looking map. There's, there's a big desert area, which is where we are now, but there is also a city area. Um, I believe there might be like a foresty area. So, where the hell was he going? He's driving on my side of the road. We got our first tunnel run. Let's knock it down a gear and let's just. Oh, that sounds very, very good. I, oof. I'd love a a Hemikuda in real life. Hemikuda. Yeah, very, very nice looking car. Very nice sounding car. I mean, the sounds in this game are absolutely incredible. They've done a fantastic job with how the cars sound. I have to say that much. Um, this thing especially sounds really really nice but um, even like the skyline we were driving in the first episode the, the cars sound absolutely fantastic in this game yeah this very much looks like the city it's quite a small city I believe there's not much to the city it doesn't take up like a huge part of the map it's nowhere near as big as like um, Los Santos is in uh, GTA 5 but it is quite a sizable it's quite big this is the casino over here in um, in the town that we saw in the first episode this is kind of where the bad guy hangs out uh, the collector he is the head of the house which is kind of like the evil organization that you're trying to get payback on hence the name of the title all right this appears to be the airport over here is there any way that we can get on to the actual like, can we get on the runway can we go through here that is the runway over there there must be a way they wouldn't have something this big in the map that this pronounced in the map if you couldn't get on there. I feel like there must be a way to get onto the airfield. Oh, this looks promising. Can we smash through this? We can smash through that, but we can't get through the gate. Hmm. Maybe you can't get onto the airfield. I feel like you would be able to. I feel like... Yeah. I feel like there should be an option. If there isn't an option, I feel like there should be. So, we're down here at the, the bottom, sort of, of the map. There's the main deserty part over here. I want to go all the way up to um, here. I want to go and explore what is up here. This looks like another little, sort of, town or something. I will follow the highway all the way up here, and then we'll head up to that top corner. I think that is... The plan so let's go and visit this garage over here and that takes us on the highway a little bit um, that area is sort of like green so I don't know if that's like a woodlandy area or if that's just the way that they've split up the map it might possibly be just the way they've split the map up but looks intriguing so we'll go up there and then we'll go up to the sort of top part of the map this appears to be like the woodlandy area now. There seems to be a lot more trees and stuff. There's a lot more like rock formations. This looks like a really nice part of the map to just hang out and cruise through the scenery, I guess. Um, let's just pause the map. So yeah, we've just entered this green woodlandy area and that is what it appears to be. It does look really, really nice actually. So there is this um, billboard that has just appeared, which is up there, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But um, there are also these collectibles all around the map. So there are two different types of collectibles. There is the billboards, which you smash through. And there's also these um, casino chips. And when you collect those, you get a slight reward like that. And then, yeah, it's basically, as the name suggests, it's a collectible. You can go and collect all of them, and you will get some sort of reward. I have no idea what the reward is. 
but there is also the billboards which there is a billboard just down here um, so the billboards all have like a ramp near them so you can jump and smash through the billboards here is the jump for that billboard so let's uh, let's see if we can get this one some of them are really difficult to get because the um, ramp doesn't have much run up like run up space this one is a fairly nice one so hopefully we should be able to hit it go for a little bit of knots you really need more of an off-road vehicle for this but there we go we've smashed that billboard if you smash it perfectly it does give you a little cutscene like a little cinematic cutscene of you smashing through it but if you smash it poorly like I just did with that one then um, yeah you just basically flop and get reset but it's quite a cool little thing it adds something to the free mode sort of experience so you're not just sort of driving around aimlessly there are like little free mode events you can do so there's all the usual sort of speed traps speed zones and all that kind of thing that nearly every racing game has but the collectibles are quite nice because it's something for you to go and try and find in the game something for you to go and explore so you're not just um you know you're not just driving around for the hell of it which is also quite a nice thing to do like i'm not against driving around for the hell of it but um for those who have played the game for a while uh, maybe they've complete the story mode and they want something to do it is quite a nice little extra i guess you'd call it okay we're appears that we're coming back down into the desert now i think it is also becoming daylight which is nice so we will be able to see a little bit more of the map yeah, english is just going out the window it is it, it holds its own against games that have released now uh you know sort of similar games would Sun's obviously up. be like the crew and sort of Forza horizon and i'd say it competes very well with those games it is a little bit of a forgotten game i will say but for those of you who've not played it for a while i'd recommend that you hop back on and take another look if you've never played the game either and um you downloaded it in the free period if you got it for free on playstation then yeah get it out of your library download it and have a go if you like racing games it's pretty good um, it has more of like an arcade racer feel to it um, so that might put you off but honestly you've got to just try it for yourself and see whether or not you like it personally I'm not a huge fan of the arcade feel I do prefer the simulation feel myself um, I feel games like GTA and sort of uh, Forza Horizon they sort of have more of a simulator feel to how the cars sort of act and, and the um, I guess you'd call it uh, the physics of the game um, obviously GTA is an arcade game but the physics of how the car works is more like a uh, simulate a game and this is more arcadic but to be honest the rest of the game makes up for that um, the rest of the game is very nice looking and sounds in this game are absolutely outstanding so I feel like that kind of makes up for it but personally the handling is the only thing that lets this down the, the physics aren't particularly great um, but I will say I have played the Crew 2 and the physics in this game are considerably better than the Crew 2. Um, sort of when the car flies it doesn't have the sort of insta gravity uh, where your car like just plops off the end of a jump and slams down to earth again. It does fly like a car would fly so I do like that part of it. That is a little bit nicer. Um, but we have made it to our destination all the way up here at the very top this area that we've just driven through seems to be more like rocky so these like red parts seem to be more like the grand canyon type feel um there is obviously like this river that runs down here which um this is like the dam up here that we just drove across and then we have like the stream that trickles down 
and then these red parts seem to be all like a canyon in the area obviously the yellowy part here is like the desert the desert this is like the woodland area and then we have the city area so it's taken me about half an hour to explore the entire entirety of this map so not a huge map but i will say um there is plenty to explore if you're looking for a racing game with decent cars in it decent customization and you know a good size map with some variety to explore then it is a fantastic game if you can get this thing for free um, if you did manage to uh, nab it uh, about a month ago it was on the PlayStation Store for free if you've got it in your library and just not downloaded it yet download it and give it a try I can definitely recommend it and um, if you are considering buying this game um, it is quite a few years old now so I will just point that out it is not the latest Need for Speed game um, but it does hold up very well in 2020 the graphics and everything are pretty good to be honest and um, it is a very enjoyable game so that is sort of my short review on the game I've played it for a few hours now I'd say um, it is probably the least played racing game that I have covered on the channel but I definitely want to play it more um, it is one of those games that you that you want to play you want to continue the story and find out whether they get revenge or not and yeah it's it's a very enjoyable game give it a play if you've not yet and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and uh, also let me know if you are enjoying this series if there's any other racing simulation games that you want to see me cover then make sure that you let me know in the comment section as well uh, but that is going to do it for today's episode hope you did enjoy taking a look at the need to speed payback map and I will see you all in the next episode.